moving. see that cargo. Hey, Sarge, there's the wagons coming up. Oh, a man can't sleep a minute around here. Check out what they're carrying. Yes, sir. See what you got inside there, Chens. What are you looking for? Listen, mister, we take orders from the sergeant who gets them from the major who gets them from Washington. So how the hell should I know what they're looking for? I get it. Someone must have been sneaking in General's private whiskey supply. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got? Farm equipment. Here's a bill of sale. Farm equipment, Sarge. All in order. Open one of the cases. Yes. But... Just hoes and rakes, right? Yeah, but... All you saw were rakes and hoes, right? But these are... Uh... I hope you understand. I suppose so, yeah. Very good. You'll be a general someday. Everything's all right here, Sarge. Let them through. Let's go here. Captain Rogers, sir. Message from headquarters. Thank you, Sergeant. Captain, sir, three wagons coming this way. Sergeant, take six men and get behind that rise. On the double. Let's go. You two with me. Stand right there. Come on, Jim. Move it along. Only a few of them. No problem. Come on, Betsy. Halt! We'll have to check your cargo. They just stopped us this morning, Captain. You're the head of this outfit? That's right. What are you carrying? Out of where? From Tucson. We got farm equipment. Tucson, eh? Get everyone down. We better have a look inside. Look, Captain, we've been through this already. All right, Sergeant. Go on, get down. Look through those wagons. Get out of here! 
Jim. Move it. Yeah. Sam ain't seen him all day. What's the difference? When he comes, we have to move again. My butt's so damn sore from the last ride, I don't care if I never see a saddle again. <laughs> <laughs> I see I've been misinformed. You're not the Bensons. You know where they are? There's one of them standing right behind you. Throw the rifle. Why didn't you show up sooner? Works out better this way. I let it be known we were here. And just waited for this filthy bastard to fall into the trap. So you weren't far away, and we were bait. That's right, friend. It was the best thing I could possibly do to get rid of the dirtiest bounty hunter in the whole West. That's John Marley, otherwise known as King. Yeah, that's right. The great king is going to be shot like a poor coyote. That's pretty cute, eh? Damn! Ah! 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 I don't believe such uncouthness from a brother of mine. Good thing I don't understand words like that. I might have belted you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, must be hard to believe you're really that ugly. I know we're all brothers, for sure. I saw you being born. But you two gotta be bastards. Huh? You can see it with half an eye. You don't look like me. Yeah, that's true. You saw us when we were born. 
I just want to know who the hell saw you. You're right, Ben. He's the bastard, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ben! Well, we did it. We got those wagons through. No trouble at all. Good. We gotta tell Sam. What happened? Sam tried to get smart with John Marley. It didn't work. King, that rotten old bastard king. What happened to Boyd and Olsen Same and Tom? Same thing happened to your brother. Get the wagons over behind the hill. I'll meet y'all down there. Get moving. <clears throat> I'm going to the village to have a word with the boss. You wait for me here. I told you never to come here. But King just killed Sam. I know. It could have ruined the whole deal. We'd better get rid of that coyote. We'll do it before we leave town. Wait. He's too damn clever. Got an idea. <laughs> so, marrying that girl's the best thing my mother's done his whole life. Oh, you really think so? Yeah, that trick they had me come from. I'll buy you that drink. I'm at <laughs> Pretty sure you'll go along with it. Come on. About two hours still to go. Are you in such a hurry to be in Tucson? Of course. Why shouldn't I be? I'm your husband. Did you know that? I guess I'd forgotten. <laughs> Can you ever forgive me? Well, I'll try. <laughs> You're so ferocious, darling. Hey, what do you say we make a bit of a change in our plans? We'll stop for a few days at the way station. Then we'll start up the trip again in the train. We'll go to Denver. Well, darling? Sounds wonderful. Good. Anything else? No, thanks. Is the room ready? Yes, yes, it is. Good night. Good night. Why him and not me? <sighs> Afternoon. Is there something I can do for you, gentlemen? <laughs> something to drink? want to disturb the lovebirds, now, would you? No, not me.
do the trick. Please don't! Please don't! Don't do it! Don't kill him! Please. Stop! Do you want me? May as well. Uh-uh. It'll be a lot more fun this way. I'll bet you two. Not an easy one. All right. I'll see you. Full house, Queen's on top. Wait a minute. Full house, Kings. One, two, three. Four, five. <laughs> Carol, what happened? They said if I'd be nice to them, they wouldn't kill him. He's dead! <laughs> I'm so sorry, John. The Bensons. We'll organize a posse and get after them right now. doing this alone. You remember old Roberts? He's still sheriff out at Benton. He's bound to have an idea. Thanks, Brian. I'm trusting Carol to you. She's gonna need a lot of help. Don't worry. for that Andrew Boyd. He's up to $3,000. Sure wish I knew where he was. He's underground. King, what brings you here? I want some information, Roberts. I want the Bensons. <whistles> yep. 
Tough proposition. Take my advice and don't get mixed up with them. They killed George. Your brother. All right. I'll take you to someone who knows where they are. I know where they are. Where? Right outside. King out here and we won't bother you. Hell with all of you. You'll be sorry for that. Come on. Move out that dynamite. Now. They haven't gone over the border. Between us and the Mexican authorities, we managed to keep it watched. A large group of Mexicans came over the border about a month ago. I imagine that's who the Bensons joined up with. If that's the case, we can nab them all together. I'll have a look around. We have quite a number of patrols around those parts. You know the army signals. If you see anything suspicious, give the alarm. I will. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Johnny. That's a lovely tune. George was fond of it, too. Yes, I know. I have news of King. He's been down south near the Mexican border. He must kill the Bensons. He must. Leave her alone.
Give the signal. You let those wagons come through without checking what they were carrying. You'll both return back to the barracks immediately to be court-martialed. You're responsible for the death of eight soldiers. Hey, 
Sergeant, who the hell's King? How the hell would I know? Here, let me take a look. You idiot, that's the recognition signal. Get busy with that thing and get ready to answer. Caught sight of bandits today. Mexicans. Down in the cavern south. Received, Sarge. Hey, Flanagan! Yes, sir. Take this to Major Erickson and move. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, it's up to you now. Good hunting. Six rapid fire Gatling guns. Hmm. Then you're king. Those weapons you see are going to help me chase away those soldiers in blue, you so kindly called. Clever plan. But not clever enough by half. Mi la vida, amigo. First I messed us feeling good. Just like there wasn't anybody in the world could beat him. But then, then that man is nothing but a bug you step on and squash. You see, amigo, you did me a big favor when you signaled to the soldiers of your country that they should come over here and capture us. And I am grateful to you for that. 
Even I'd let you go. But those three cojudos, the Benson brothers, they want you. To rip you into little pieces, I think. They have fun killing people. The only thing I might do for you is leave you here tied up. And when those cabrones, the soldados, will come in his cave, he will blow up. <laughs> uh, it is a lovely death. A lovely death. Manolo, watch him. Have him come in, Jason. Please, come in. Thank you. From the government, eh? I'm at your service. How can I be of help to you? Major Erickson, I understand you're acquainted with a certain John Marley. Yes, I know him very well. You were told of the massacre of eight soldiers following the disappearance of a cargo of weapons in Virginia. Yes. 100 Winchester rifles, about 1,000 Colts, six cases of explosives, and six Gatling rapid-fire guns. Six machine guns? Exactly. And if they end up with bandits, Mexicans, or Indians, we'll have to mobilize two regiments. Now, about this Mr. Marley, how much do you trust him? Completely. At Tucson, they trusted his signature on some papers. The false cargo of rakes and hose passed through. Then Marley's signature was obviously false. No, you're wrong, Major Erickson. Anyway, he's a bounty killer, a hired gun. That's not true. Marley kills because he hates outlaws. They killed his parents when he was just a boy. Major Erickson, you were specifically commanded to help me arrest any man that I might indicate to you. And the man I want is John Marley. Do you understand? He left Ralston City a week ago. He was headed for this area. He was headed for the frontier, looking for the Benson brothers. That's the proof, Major. The armed smugglers were headed for Mexico with their convoy. At the border. But I've got four groups down there operating against the Mexican outlaws. Jason! Jason! Quickly, signal to Captain Johnson to leave the area. Say that the Mexicans have machine guns. It's a trap. Yes, of course. A perfect trap. Six machine guns properly placed and ably manned would make quick work of any four squadrons in the world, Major. But... Who signaled the message about the Mexicans? A month ago, they passed the frontier. Their government asked our help in getting them back. And just now, King signaled that he'd found their hideout. I understand. I'm sorry, Mr. Collins. I'll never believe that King is involved in this filthy story. Well, the money's okay. Now, about that bastard horse thief, King. I just want him dead, and I don't care how it happens. Go away. Well, senor, what else do you want? Two little girls. You're making such a fuss over two girls? Jose, those muchachas para los amigos. No, those two there. Hijo de puta! You want to remind you? All right. That just means you got to put the machine guns together by yourself. Understand? What have you got there? Hmm. Oh, a little piece from the machine gun. But, uh, you see, without this piece in the right place, your machine guns ain't worth a damn. And we have the others hidden. Well, say something. Hmm. 
Maria's my sister. My own sister. Jose is a fine man. If I say he must do it, he will. But that one, he's an animal. Chico! Si. Hey, Chico, over here. Bueno, padrón. He won't do it even if I tell him. You might fight with him for his muchacha. But I warn you, no one has ever beaten him. No one, you say? We'll see about that. those weapons. Bueno, take the girls and put together the machine guns and use them against the soldiers. Why, of course. <laughs> Come on, let's get started. That's an idea. <laughs> Come on, arrow girl. <laughs> Cut up that bastard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the great king tied up like a salami. not touch the prisoner. <coughs> Mi jefe's orders. Muy bien. Now we're all alone. 
I guess we can start the fun. <coughs> That trap worked. <laughs> you can always shoot yourself. But before you do, find me your friend, Marley. And it won't be very easy, either. Go call the Bensons. It's time for us to get out of here. Soldiers are coming! Hurry! Tell the cafe! Thank <laughs> you. 
after them. Hurry. You're under arrest. <clears throat> Why the cards? Thought we could have a hand or two. No. John Marley's the only one I play poker with. You'll be waiting for a while. King was arrested by the U.S. Army. An officer is on his way. He probably kicked some general. A little more serious. He was arm smuggling. How are you, King? Don't bother me. I've already told everything to that moron Collins. Fine government agent. I'm in as deep as you are. Yeah, but I'm in prison. I know you're innocent, King, but you just got to prove it. If I had some idea how to do it, I suppose I'd take that horse that's tied alongside the boot store near the edge of town, and I'd make it my business to prove it was all a filthy trick to frame me for the crime. That would take care of everything. The only problem about it would be the headache I'd have tomorrow. Oh, well, I guess it's just wishful thinking. <coughs> Guard! It's late. I'm going to bed. Good night, Carol. King escaped. The order's out. He's to be caught, Brian. Dead or alive. And you thought you might do it. Why not? If you had your gun in your hand and he had his in his holster, you'd still win. The only possible way. Of beating him. Shoot him in the back. Carol? Yes? I've got news about King. Hey, anyone here? Very clever, King. What do you want? I want you to get through your head. I had nothing to do with that arms robbery. Someone set me up. Someone I know well. Obviously, you wouldn't have signed that shipment bill of sale for someone that you didn't know at all. Why arrest me then? Because it's the only way you can help me, Marley. People have to think you're guilty. Now, where's Ben Benson? 
Probably in the last place you'd think of looking for him. Prison, huh? Yeah. But first, I want to be sure. other men did. Martin, get this mess out of here. King's been seen. Go and do it. You could take care of him, too. You are the law, or ain't you? Please don't keep me waiting, Ben. All right. You're the boss. Watch him. Boss! Ben's in the stable getting his horse. He's gonna run. I thought so. First we get King. You know where to go.
John Marley. In the name of the law, I declare you under arrest. In the name of what law? Yours? Officer, you're under arrest. Collins, you better stay out of this. I want the pleasure. His name is Cain. 